Insider threat programs are multidisciplinary in nature and designed to evaluate the entirety of the situation and can often put reported indicators in context. They treat each matter individually with utmost respect for privacy and civil liberties. Mitigation response options often include solutions that provide help and resources for those in need. Okay, as you know from our meeting yesterday, we received a number of separate reports of potential risk indicators. When we last met, each of you agreed to gather and analyze additional information so that we could determine the best course of action. Thanks to all of you for your quick turnaround and checking into these matters. I know that we've all been burning the midnight oil on this one. For today's meeting, I have asked Mark King to join us. He's the first line supervisor of the individuals that we'll be discussing today. Thanks for coming in, Mark. Since this is Mark's first meeting with the Insider Threat Program Hub team, why don't we all go around the table and introduce ourselves? Um, Linda? Uh, I'm Linda with HR. Sergeant Jackson, Counterintelligence. I'm John from Security. Ilana, Legal. Stacy, IT. Rob, Behavioral Scientist. All right, guys, let's start with Tim. In his case, two coworkers reported behavior and activity that seemed concerning. In the last couple of weeks, Tim has been seen late at the office, which is out of the ordinary for him. He's always arrived early and left early. Um, he's been working long hours of overtime. He's been printing out large volumes of information and leaving the building with it. He was overheard talking in whispered conversation with someone in a stressed voice. Subsequently, he made some very expensive purchases. He was planning to leave town, and he apparently was under some stress in his personal life. So did anyone come up with information that might potentially explain Tim's activities or put them into context? Do we need to dig a little deeper, or do we need to refer this matter to counterintelligence, law enforcement, or another department for further inquiry? Uh, Linda. Uh, well, Tim has an excellent work record. Our files confirmed that Tim has accepted a position elsewhere with a considerable raise and very large hiring bonus, so he's leaving in two weeks. I served as a reference for his new position. That's a great opportunity for him. He's been an important part of our team here for years, and he knows we rely on him, so he's been working overtime to complete his tasks on our project before leaving. Uh, he has been printing out a large amount of information, but all of the information is directly related to the project he's working on. He really is a hell of a guy. I'm sad to see him go. A check of Tim's activity on our system indicates he has not attempted to access any files to which he has no need to know or authorization. The information he printed out is not classified, but it is F-O-U-O. We have no record of him downloading any information onto any removable media. He did file a foreign travel report about a year ago to travel to Oslo. He does have family in Norway, and he has uh, reported those foreign contacts appropriately. His file shows no irregular security issues. Tim does work on a project that is of interest to several foreign intelligence entities. While there's no sign that he has been actively targeted or that he has disclosed information, I recommend he receive a threat briefing so that he can continue to safeguard information that he has knowledge of and be alert for signs of targeting or recruitment. Tim signed a non-disclosure agreement when he started working here. Before he leaves, he needs to also sign a statement that he has not taken any unauthorized information and that he understands a repercussion should he do so. It was mentioned that Tim's been under a lot of stress due to a recent breakup with his fiance. That can be tough for anybody. So I'd recommend HR provide him with the employee assistance program resources. That should help him cope with the stress. Okay, thank you. It sounds like we have some excellent courses of action to take with Tim. So now let's move on to Phyllis. Um, coworkers have reported that Phyllis might have been attempting to gain access to information beyond the scope of need. She was overheard making travel plans to a foreign country. Uh, she was observed downloading information onto a thumb drive. Mark, um, let's start with you. Uh, overall, Phyllis has been doing a good job. Um, she seemed a little upset when she got a new project schedule. And she has made several requests for access to files beyond the scope of her work. When she was denied access, she was upset about that as well. Our records show that Phyllis did sign a non-disclosure agreement when she started working here. 
HR records confirm Phyllis has been with the agency for a little more than seven years. Um, she also filed a request for emergency travel leave this morning. Apparently, her mother is ill. and She's leaving for Cyprus tomorrow. Uh, we did receive a notification of foreign travel from Phyllis about an hour ago, and she has informed us that her uh, mother lives abroad. It's important that cleared personnel understand the risks of targeting when traveling overseas. Our office will arrange a security briefing for Phyllis before her departure and a debrief upon her return. I checked our system files and found no evidence of access to any files to which she has no clearance. We did authorize transfer of some files that were not displaying properly from her computer to our diagnostics team. The flash drive was one we gave her and she returned it. Uh, Phyllis sounds stress due to work projects and her mother's illness, and that's certainly understandable. So I'd recommend HR provide her with the same employee assistance program resources that we discussed with Tim. Also, Mark, as her supervisor, it'd probably be a good idea for you to stay engaged, make sure she's getting any help that she needs. Also, um, stay alert for any kind of stress or trouble in the future. Thank you very much for your quick actions. It doesn't appear that Tim nor Phyllis have done anything wrong or illegal, but let's remain vigilant. We'll follow our security protocol for departing employees now that we're aware of Tim's new position, and let's remain connected to Phyllis so that she can get the help she needs, but also so that we're attuned to other potential risk indicators or behaviors. Now let's talk about our potential data spill with Joyce's article publication. Because she failed to have the information reviewed prior to publication, we've referred this matter to our information security team who has initiated activities to determine whether there was a spill of classified information. It is extremely time sensitive and they're working very hard on that now. Depending on the results, our agency may have to report to DOD, to Congress, or even the FBI. Um, and we will have to conduct a detailed damage assessment and or impose sanctions. While I don't believe that Joyce's actions were intentional, they could still really cause some serious damage. We really need to get some information out to our employees so that no one else makes this mistake in the future. I will be sure to include the topic of unauthorized disclosure in my next awareness briefing, and I will get with Mark and the other supervisors to distribute some additional materials to their staff. When potential risk indicators go unreported, all of our resources, information, personnel, and facilities are at risk. Valued employees undergoing the normal stresses of work, life, and family may miss an opportunity to receive help and support, and unwitting or careless acts may lead to unintentional compromise. Awareness and reporting of risk indicators helps your insider threat program deter, detect, and mitigate potential threats. Security really is everyone's responsibility. We all know the phrase, if you see something, say something. So what would you do? And what might happen if you don't? The risk posed by trusted insiders is real and substantial. From compromise of classified information to devastating events resulting in loss of life, insider threats can have a profound impact on national security. Washington today, KAE Applied Technologies confirmed an unauthorized disclosure of information that could compromise the latest U.S. drone avionics program and national security.